Hello, welcome back to PCSimulators.org, the channel for simulation gaming. Today we are going to look at helicopters in association with our partner site, PCHelicopters.com. If you haven't been there yet, make sure you visit the site. Plenty of information about helicopter simulation and it's a great site. So, today we are looking at Air Missions Hind. And Air Missions Hind is an early access game. It is on Steam at the moment for $12.99. There is a deluxe edition for $14.99, as you can see, which includes more helicopters, three Soviet helicopters. So it's been in early access for a while now and it's got very positive reviews. We're going to delve into what's changed in the last few months uh, since I actually looked at the game and see if it is still looking good. So bear with us and uh, we'll be back in a few seconds with the loading screen and the start screen. So welcome back and here we are at the main menu we have a couple of options we have single player multiplayer settings statistics and credits so statistics um, goes, will show us how many uh, missions we completed in in my case zero how many aircraft we've shot down ground units destroyed etc you get the idea and also in multiplayer how many t uh, matches you played and how many you, you pilots you've shot it's like some games you just want a basic um, snapshot of what you're looking at uh, for what you've achieved uh, settings and uh, let's go into settings we've got a nice easy four options display settings um, we've got our shadows on very high and you can adjust the particles the draw distance the clouds the atmosphere uh, atmosphere we're gonna put that on normal um, and uh, the tree detail and the grass all sort of details with various aspects of your graphics so we're gonna keep it at that click on save and um, HUD settings we go back to setup so uh, you can have you have your screen marks on your crosshair on your weapons info what type of uh, measurements you want to use imperial or metric enemy health bars to give you an idea if you're you know, about to shoot them down or not so that's um, nice again nice and straightforward so we click on save settings there and uh, let's go to setup controls so um, we have here an option where we want to change we want to go to the joystick uh, does it give us yeah, it gives us the joystick so input type joystick control type we're going to go for the Pilot. So we'll change the pilot uh, control type. Sensitivity, we leave everything as it is for now. And invert descent climb. I don't know whether we need to invert it yet until I actually have a look at that in game. So, uh, tail rotor, uh, auto hover. Yeah, we've got auto hover activation, which is the right stick button. Where Which one that is, I don't quite know yet. So, I've got more than one control option. So, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, that's a game input. We want joystick. Yes, joystick. I beg your pardon. So we click on joystick. We leave it on pilot. Ah, we are. This is this is this is what is really interesting. We have the primary joystick. We want. Um, I'm going to put that as the throttle. Uh, sorry, not the throttle. The fighter stick because we've got a CH fighter stick. The secondary device I'm going to leave as the pro throttle, and the third device I'm going to use my pedals. So it's great that it's actually recognised that I've got more than one joystick, and it's also give me the correct name of the joystick and like explain which we reviewed short a uh, short while ago it didn't give us the names of the joystick so this one does which is great uh, the sensitivities i leave everything as they are for now um tail rotor rotation uh, axis z so let's see i click on that and i'm going to put that as my ch pedals um right so uh, invert i'm going to press the button on my um, CH fighter stick control there you go so that's nice and easy and uh, switch weapon I'm going to put button 5 fire gun turret let's put that as that button 4 oh is it okay so fire button alternative uh, well let's put that on my other control stick so that's really straightforward very very straightforward auto uh, hover what I'm going to do there I suppose um, I'm going to leave that. Um, let's see. Let's put auto hover there. But nine and uh, descend climb. We don't that one. Invert descend climb. What's that? We don't like that one. Rotor X. So I presume that is waiting for my joystick and the rotor Y, which is uh, my pitch. I'm going to put that. So, it's very, very straightforward. Uh, I'm going to click on save. Very straightforward. That's very impressive. So, okay, confirm that. And, um, okay, let's go back to the main screen. I press escape and escape again. 
and click on back so back to the main screen so what we're going to look at first let's see single player let's click on single player oh by the way if your track IR doesn't work straight away make sure that you do the game updates in the track IR console so if you click on um, let me show you okay so if we go to the oh, Windows updates open track IR which is this one so if you click on here you should see game updates available I haven't got it because I've already done it so if you click on game updates and then it will download it and you should see Air Mission Hines in your title that's only if you don't get the track IR working which happened to me a few minutes ago so let's go back to single player we're going to do a test flight so click on test flight we've got a couple of options here we've got Eastern Europe training camp Southeast Asia Yezni Island Coast uh, Arctic Ocean and Central Asia we'll go for um, let's go for Let's go for this Central Asia and uh, clear. We'll leave it at clear. Click on continue. Now we've got more options. Um, I'm going to leave it at pilot controls, harder, gunner control manual, collision damage on, everything else is on. So click on confirm. And now we can choose our helicopter. So that's the MI24 Hind. We also got the uh, NKA50 and the MI8, which you also get in DCS world. Uh, the MI28 Havoc, Russian. And MI24. So it looks like it's four helicopters. The K50 again that's available in DCS. So is the MI8. So let's have a look at something that's not available in DCS. Let's look at the hind. Um, we're gonna what sort of colour should we go for? Uh, that looks good. And we leave the rockets as standard. So if you move over the rockets, uh, sorry, the hard points, it tells you that uh, which which weapons you've got installed. Click on confirm, and uh, let's wait for it to load. So my track IR is now working. Um, after my update so that's fine I'm going to do a test flight so here we go this is the outside view and as I was switching view you see it's actually going left r right and left in the cockpit and uh, I think that looks like the gunner um, that's another view looks quite far away so you can actually also use your hat control to spin around so you can see it's zooming a bit closer Oop, a bit too close I changed the control there so you can see the graphics is a brilliant uh, detail on, on the uh, the aircraft let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit oh no it won't let me zoom in enough <laughs> it keeps hitting me out kicking me out so let's see if I can somehow there you go look at that it's absolutely awesome it's, it looks really really good oh, I can actually zoom up with my, my hat can I yeah there you go so the, oh, I don't know why it keeps doing let's, let's just change the set in a second I click on settings click on set of controls and let's go down to let's find the key for zoom in and out and I think it's somewhere here so zoom uh, camera view I'll put that on C and zoom in and out I'll put my plus and my minus that'll be a bit better so we can have a look so go back to the game okay so let's see let's see if I can actually zoom in a bit better now there you go so awesome isn't it really awesome no there's still the same thing happens okay so let's get in the cockpit let's press F5 and we are in the cockpit up on my track IR on so as you can see I can see around and uh, oh look at that even the, the windows do a bit uh, that's a bit like the uh, take on helicopters we reviewed on our channel a few um, days ago similar and uh, okay the the buttons not clickable as far as I can see at the moment but it is early access and let's see if I can go back a bit it's a bit close isn't it so see can I zoom back a bit yeah you can so I can zoom back a bit which is great because um, on take on helicopter didn't zoom that that further back. The joystick doesn't move though yet, and I can't see anything else. The collective it doesn't move, so it doesn't reflect actually the what my my inputs on the joystick. So small things which I hope they'll fix soon. I'm looking around, graphics are nice, so let's take off and see what it looks like. So I just move my collective up, and my collective is mapped to my CH Throttle Pro. So we'll wait for it to take off sounds good turn the volume up do the dials work oh it stopped there you go I put the power down a bit then yep the dials are working you see the dials moving and up we go. I'll turn the volume down a bit, otherwise we'll drown the voice out. 
So we're up. It wasn't too difficult to take off. It's quite easy, really. It didn't have. Um, it didn't spin around that much. Let's have a look at the outside view. There you go. So, I wish it stayed in that position, but it doesn't. So it, it, it does handle. It's not difficult. I mean, look at the take on helicopters version uh, behind. It, that was a lot more difficult to control. This is a bit more. I would say bit more arcade like uh, I'm actually moving the collective up and it is not twitchy at all that's another view of it it doesn't stay in that, it doesn't stay in that spot there you go it keeps moving back don't want that to happen but it keeps doing it okay so the flight model isn't probably very realistic compared to the other sims but um, the graphics are nice it uh, behaves very smoothly when you move, put you with the inputs. Let's see if I, I can just turn the helicopter all the way around and just really sort of try to stress it, put the collective down. And no, look, it's not really giving me much trouble, is it? Not really at all. So the flight model probably needs a little bit more work, in my opinion. Yeah, see, it's not actually, I mean, do that in uh, X-Plane or DCS and we'll have lots of problems, but it's let me recover. Weapons, what do they look like? Rockets. Right, can I find a rocket here? Yeah, look at that rocket go. Oops. Let's do that a bit. I'm gonna find another rocket so it show you that what it looks like. There you go. So let's see if you can see anything else around here. So the, the dials in the cockpit are working, that looks good. Button 10 hold to reload weapons. That's my cannon. So you can get a bit lower, see what the landscape looks like a bit lower down. There's no slowdown as I get closer, but it's very, very easy to to uh, control this helicopter and virtually dive bombing. <laughs> Give me any problems at all. So look, the terrain looks good. Look, that looks really good. Let's see what it looks like when you go to the other side view. You can see the graphics are really nice, aren't they? Um, so let's uh, leave that and let's try another option. So that was a free flight mode. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the campaign. So I've gone to single player. Click on campaign. And all the others are locked, so I need to click on training, which is the only one there, and uh, leave my options as they are at the moment. And we are going to be in MI24 Squadron, and it's going to show us how to operate basic weapons and fly the aircraft smoothly, as well as some target practice. So I click confirm. The loading times, how long is it going to take? Let's see. Oh, already done. Brilliant. Really fast loading time. And look at those graphics, absolutely amazing, very photorealistic, and the helicopter itself, awesome, very, very good graphics. So, before we start, let's have a quick look at the copter itself, and look at that, well modelled, great graphics. There's those pilots inside, ready to go, and look at those rotor blades, look at those rotor blades, attention to detail. Okay, so we're going to take off, let's zoom out a bit. And uh, let's take off. So we're going to move our collective up. That starts our engines and gets the rotor blades moving. And now we are going to take off by pushing the collective up. So the collective is whatever you've mapped your collective to. In my case, the CH Pro Throttle Pro, which is in the up position. There we go. So now we've done that, we also need to do other controls now. Here we, here we are. Perform control test. So we are going to climb, first of all, and now descend, Can't put the descend. you see the bottom says use to descend, and descend, it doesn't stay in the camera position for long though, it, it seems to be set back to, uh, to um, a sort of central position, okay, so banking the aircraft left, then right, that's what I want us to do now. 
Now we're going to use our rudder to steer the helicopter to the left and to the right. And now we're going to pitch forward and back. The back will flare the helicopter and forward will pitch it and make it go faster as well as descend. So that's good. We've done all that. And now look at those graphics. They're absolutely awesome, aren't they? Now we need to perform more tests. Let's see what they want us to do. We have to go to the shooting range. So there's a waypoint to the left there, which is pointing to on the left side of the screen. We are going to go that way. So let's go to the left. Now there is perfect as our first one. Now the second one is again further to the left. Probably a bit higher because the arrow's getting higher. There we are. Oh, look at that. Look at those graphics. Absolutely brilliant, aren't they? And there's no slowdown. No slowdown at all. So, let's try it from the other side. From the front. Amazing. Absolutely amazing graphics. Like I said, it's springing back to the centre. That's not me actually doing it. You hold the, uh, con the camera control for a while and then it seems to just spring back to the centre. So, okay, that's the next one. And one more down there, look, in the top of the screen. We're going to head towards that one. Let's go inside the cockpit. Get my track IR on again. There you go. And I think also when you go near the trees, they start to um, blow. They start to blow because of the um, rotor blades. And there's our targets. Okay, let's get uh, these targets. See the trees blowing as they're getting closer? Okay, so where are those targets gone? Right, let's uh, line them up. Let's steer a bit. I'm going to auto hover. Now, this is uh, interesting. I'm going to change camera. I'm pressing my C key, which I've got set for camera. And now I've got this. Uh, this um, uh, turret control that you can map to your controls in the setup and now if I move this over a truck I should be able to fire it let's go there you go you can zoom in as well oh, what happened there there you go and move the cursor over it Oh, I was chopping a tree there because I forgot that the auto hover was on, but I was going a bit too low. So, perhaps it's a good idea if we move a little bit. I'm going to move a bit to the right there. Or maybe go back a bit. Let's, go, let's just turn around. And then we'll go back up and get a better position. The graphics are brilliant, aren't they? I really think the graphics are really good. Too close. Look at the trees. See the trees wobbling as I get closer to them, and they, they, they're sort of blown in the wind. Great, isn't it? Look at that. There we are. See the blow? Look, there you go. They're blowing. So that, that should do. Let's go back to the other camera view. Or oh, actually, we leave on here and um, click on that truck, and let's blow it up. Go, that's that one. And that one, and let's finish this one up as well. Haha, <laughs> fantastic. So that is the uh, the mission for flying and using some of the controls. That's awesome. It really is. Okay, some rockets here, we'll just fight a few and then we'll move on to the next uh, Days. But this, for some reason, if I press my rocket, I change the rockets by pressing my assign button. button. So click that, I want my rockets, and change. There you go. It doesn't seem to. Uh, They don't seem to aim at uh, the target, like the guns. The 
getting caught in the tree there. <laughs> Got a bit of smoke coming. Look at that smoke. Okay. Look at that. I think I hit a tree. There's smoke coming out of it. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, let's look at the next. Let's look at the next option. Okay, so this time we're gonna have like a single player and let's do instant action. So we're gonna choose an MI8 helicopter battle. Are we going to click on Attack enemy army, that'll do. We'll do it at uh, sunset. And we leave the settings as they are. And we create for the MI-28 Havoc. That's the MI-28 Havoc. Let's try that one. So, um, here we go. We're going to have a go at flying this helicopter in instant action mode. So, I don't know how this is going to be. It looks hard. Oh dear, what are all those? So... Change up the weapons. Get something here. Ah, there's loads of them. There's tanks everywhere. They're all fighting. Whoa! Where'd they go? They're all behind me. So you can get them from behind. Great fun, mine. It's gotta, it's gotta be great fun. Okay. Play an angle like we did before. One of them somehow. Oh my god, what's that firing at me? Look at that. Man. Whoa. They've all seen me. <laughs> They're all firing at me now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this view? Let's see if we can use this view somehow. Hitting the target. <laughs> Am I the gunner? I think I must be the gunner. Am I at the moment? It says turret missile control on. Okay. Than it looks. Let's get off the other side. Whoop. Let's try this one last bit. This this up over there. Much harder when they move It's gone. It's all gone. Whoa. One down there, and then get him. I'm gonna get one at least. It's 
harder than it looks, it really is. Um, I'm not sure about the missile control system, I thought the missiles would be guided a bit, but they don't seem to be. I think keep pointing the green thing. The green thing towards my, my target, which seems a bit manual. There you go, I got one. Am I going to go kamikaze now? With armor on this helicopter, by the way. There's loads of them, and I gotta get one at least. Let's go outside here so you guys can see what's happening. The missiles actually don't seem to be following um, where I'm setting the... Uh, look at that helicopter. Absolutely superb. Look at that. Okay, they're all going that way. Let's try one more, a few more. Well, another minute or two, and then we'll... Uh, we'll try something else. So look at that. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit there. It's hard. I think it's easier to stick inside the cockpit than and outside, of course. Whoa! Getting some now. Anyway, I think you get the idea. <laughs> Need a bit more practice, but you get the idea. So you can see how how intense this game can be. It's, it's, it's really fun. It's fun. I don't know how you recommend it. It's maybe not the most realistic uh, flight um, model, but it is it is fun. And the graphics, you can see, are absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's just um, let's just quit that, and uh, we're going to show you probably. Let's see. Another single player game and uh, instant action. Um, we'll try the MI24. Should we try it's uh, night time? And let's see what this is like. Change our colours a bit. Oh no, we tried the M24, then we already. Um, okay, 50. Let's try the MI8. What does it look like in this particular game? I can't use any of those other rocks. We can't use the rockets. We haven't, we haven't actually um, unlocked them. So let's have a quick look at this instant action with the MI8, I believe, I've chosen. So we'll see what that is like. Here we go. Ready? And this is night time. And that's the MI8, which also appears in DCS. Look at that. It's well modeled, isn't it? I mean, it looks really good. And this is the night time. I don't any lights in here. Okay, this is what the cop will look like. A little bit different, maybe put it right, so... Here they come. There's some helicopters right behind me. Right, 
until he gets. Getting shot down through to flares up. Going here, this is hard. <laughs> He's on hard level, I suppose. Whoa, you can't seem to see the, the helicopters. Oh, there they are, they're landing right behind us. Of his flares out. Oh, there's a there he is. There he is. Come. There he is. There they are. Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> oh, there they are. Catch up with them. Oh my god, he's losing. I mean, ganged up upon. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh dear, that was hard. Okay, mission failed. So, it gives you an idea of what to expect. The combat isn't very easy, but it is fun. Okay, so we click on continue. And um, now I'll look at the multiplayer and see if anyone's available there. Uh, let's click on join online battle. Uh, click on refresh. So, it's searching for battles. Is this active? Doesn't seem to be anybody there. Okay, there's nobody there at the moment, but um, no. Okay, that's a shame. So, let's go back and um, back again. So, I think really that uh, wraps up our inter interview, sorry, review on Air Missions Hines as it, is, as it is at the moment. So, what do we think? We think it's awesome fun. We think the graphics are probably one of the best graphics we've seen in any game. Um, and uh, the terrain to me is certainly one of the best I've ever, se uh, ever seen in the flight sim. Uh, the flight dynamics maybe need, need, need a bit more work, a bit arcade like, but it is challenging in the fact that you've you just seen on hard level, it's quite challenging. Not the flight controls themselves, the flight dynamics, but the way um, the AI attacks you. I need more practice, I know, so um, I'll be going back to do some of that. But in the meantime, this is uh, Air Missions Hind on, e on easy access, easy access, early access on Steam. Okay, before we leave, don't forget to visit our site pchelicopters.com for helicopter simulation. On that site you'll see everything from uh, FSX, DCS, X-Plane, Air Mission Hines, Take On Helicopters, all the helicopter sims. We have a helicopter list, we have polls, we have tutorials and reviews. So that's our pchelicopters.com site. And a partner site, uh, pcsimulators.org, covers all other simulators, flight, construction, farming, trucks, trains, the lot. So be sure to check out our site there, that's pcsimulators.org and pchelicopters.com. Our YouTube channel, which obviously you're watching, is youtube.com forward slash c forward slash pcsimulators.org. There you'll find lots and lots of simulation videos. And uh, our community groups, so we have community groups on uh, Facebook for helicopters, that is uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash PC helicopters and there we have people from all over the helicopter community including uh, Eagle Dynamics, Polychops, um, people from Flight Gear, people from X-Plane as well as all the people who love helicopters. So be sure to check out and join our helicopter group and in our other group PC simulators that is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash PC simulators we have a group just for all types of simulation and uh, that is growing each day so I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be back again shortly with some more videos don't forget to help support us by subscribing click the subscribe button it does take a lot of time to make these videos it does take a lot of time to compile them edit them and keep the website up to date so your help 
in supporting us is highly appreciated so we can make more videos so please subscribe please visit our websites and until then goodbye